Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. Kicking off this video, we are going to take a look at the upcoming launches with some more missions expected. As you can see on the SpaceX fans website, the launch of Starlink 421 is expected to lift off on Sunday 26th at 12.43am UTC or Saturday 25th at 8.43pm EDT. In addition, there is a launch expected to lift off a couple of days later with SES-22 scheduled for Tuesday 28th at 9.04pm UTC or 5.04pm EDT. Eric Ralph posted a tweet saying, Fun fact, after Global Star, SpaceX has launched 32 times in the last 7 months. Its annual record set in 2021 is 31 launches. Sort of cheating because 6 of those 32 happened in 2021 but it emphasises how SpaceX has practically flipped a switch and doubled its cadence. Jonathan McDowell also posted a tweet related to the launch of the Global Star FM15 mission. He said Space Track confirms the presence of 4 secret payloads on the Global Star Falcon 9 launch. USA 328 to USA 331 catalog 5289 and 52892 orbital data not available. One piece of debris, probably a Starlink style tension rod. In response to another tweet saying that there were also four mystery payloads on Transporter 3, McDowell posted another tweet. He said, Yes, I am now assuming provisionally that both these quartets are modified Starlinks for NRO COM or SIGINT use. There was an article posted about a SpaceX proposal to modify another pad at the Cape for Dragon operations. It says Reuters reports that SpaceX has proposed modifying a second Florida launch pad to support Crew Dragon operations after NASA raised concerns about the threat posed by plans to launch Starship out of the only pad currently certified for Dragon. Michael Sheets posted a tweet saying SpaceX urged the FCC to investigate whether DISH and Michael Dell affiliate RS Access filed intentionally misleading reports in the battle over 12GHz broadband of fight SpaceX representatives describe as an unlikely but existential threat to Starlink. Musk responded with their attempt to bolt and switch satellite spectrum for cellular spectrum is super shady and unethical. If they are successful it would hurt the least served and completely unserved of the world. Heading to Boca Chica, the chopstick catching arms were seen being tested some more recently. These launch mount covers were delivered to the launch site. Engineers have continued working on the quick disconnect on suborbital pad B. Here's a view of the back of Star Factory as it continues in the production yard. Construction work is also continuing on the new building. This crane was lowered at the production site. This mystery object was seen being moved. There was a tweet posted by Starship Gazer saying suborbital pad A with thrust simulators and B with newly installed Starship QD. Eric Ralph captioned it and said I'm pretty sure SpaceX is setting up the suborbital mount so that pad A is for Starship structural testing and pad B is for static fires. Should be more efficient than installing and removing the thrust rams every single time. There was an interesting article posted about SpaceX receiving permission to construct something elsewhere in Texas. It says on June 6, 2022, the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality approved a permit for a SpaceX construction project called Project Echo. The construction is located in Bastrop County, Central Texas, where Elon Musk's other companies, including the Boring Company and Neuralink, have established a presence. There was a tweet posted about the work going on at the Starship launch site being constructed at the Cape. It says SpaceX moves the first gantry segment into place for the Starship Super Heavy Pad under construction at KSC Pad 39A, a familiar site in Boca Chica, Texas where a Super Heavy gantry is already in place but an impressive addition for Kennedy as 39A continues to evolve. Here's a view of the nose cones under construction. The B7.1 test tank was lifted off the transport mount and onto the structural test stand. The crush test cap, also known as the can crusher, was lifted and placed on top of B7.1. Work is going on to prepare B7.1 and the structural test stand for some testing. Taking a look at the road and beach closures on the Cameron County website, most of them were cancelled. There was a possible closure for yesterday and today which were both cancelled. However, a date still remains for a possible closure tomorrow, Thursday 23rd. As always, I have to say thanks to both Mary, otherwise known as Boca Chica Gal and Nick Antsuini for being out there filming the Boca Chica content. 
Also, thanks to the NASA Spaceflight team working behind the scenes on their videos, live streams and other space content. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.